If you're looking to improve internal hip rotation from the 90-90 position, you can assume this position, we're gonna be working on the right leg here, 90 degree angle from the front leg, 90 degree angle from the back leg. You can adjust a little bit depending on what's comfortable for you. Um, and we're gonna do pales rails from this position. So from here, I want you to find a position at which you can just barely get a lift off or at least make it feel like your back leg, your foot is lighter. Okay, so from here, I can lift off. If you cannot lift off, turn your chest and lean your shoulder away to get a little bit more access, a little bit more range of motion. You can even lean if you need to, okay? Or you can pop yourself up on a block or a cushion or some bolster, uh, so it'll take your hip out of internal rotation a little bit. Now, you've got a decent position, let's say, okay? From here, you're just gonna stretch. You're gonna hold the stretch for a couple minutes, breathing deeply. After that point, we're gonna start doing a pales contraction. So everything else stays the same. You're gonna breathe in. Create some pressure in your abdomen, and then you're gonna slowly start driving your back heel and ankle down into the floor. So imagine you're slowly trying to dent the floor just a little bit and gradually ramp up that effort. So you're gonna gradually ramp up. As you press harder and harder, you're gonna create more tension throughout the rest of your body. I like to grab onto my front ankle or shin for stability, drive my opposite hand into the floor. And I'm continuing to ramp up until I get to about 70 to 100% of my maximal effort that I'm gonna hold for about 10 more seconds. All right, that's the pales contraction. At that point, we're gonna do rails contraction so nothing else moves. We're gonna try to lift that back ankle by rotating internally our back hip. So our intent is to do this and lift and hold and you're gonna continue pulling. Continue to try to pull higher and higher and higher even if it doesn't move. That is your intent. You're holding rails contraction for 10 to 20 seconds. As you gain, hopefully, a little bit of extra daylight under there, you're gonna rotate your torso and chest towards your back ankle until you run out of room. Then you can relax in this new position. Breathe, and then you can do another round from there. I suggest one to three rounds to start. Um, progress as your body uh, handles it.